Hello everyone! This time I have Shure PSM300 transmitter for repair. This is a part of wireless in-ear monitoring system, let's say for musicians to hear themselves on stage or for similar applications. And something is wrong with this unit, let's take a look. Here I have another unit that is working properly. So I want to show you the working unit first. Here on the back we have a stereo input, left and right channel, and this is pass through, and antenna. So this thing transmits uh, two channels of audio from a mixing board, let's say, a special monitoring mix usually, and musicians have receivers like this. So let's turn it on. And here we can see RF level and this blue light. And if I turn off this transmitter, the blue light goes off and the RF level disappears. And also, if I plug in a cable and turn this thing on, we can see here on the screen the audio level. This is left channel. And we can see this uh, audio level here on the screen. There are just a few bars there, but we can see the level. So this is uh, working properly. And now let's look at this uh, faulty unit. The same RF channel. Now when I turn the transmitter on, we see RF level. But there is no blue light, and also when I touch this thing, there is no audio level here at all, and of course on the receiver as well. And this is the problem. Let's take a look inside. Here is the power supply connector, 12 volts DC. Here I can see a couple of DC to DC converters and a couple of linear regulators. This must be the analog section. We can see traces from uh, input connectors going somewhere over there. These are three identical quad op-amps, MC33179. This is the input level potentiometer. This must be RF section. The output goes through some amplifying stages to the antenna. And this, I guess, is the digital section with microcontroller and such, with extra shielding around it to prevent the noise from uh, going into the analog section. And this is the display on the front panel. I took the covers off because it was easy. And sure enough, this is the digital section. We can see Xilinx Spartan, FPGA, and uh, ST microcontroller. And this is the RF section, of course. I believe I see some problem. Not sure yet what is causing it. Let's have a look. I will use this screw as ground. Here is the input power, 12 volts go into this diode. This is for reverse uh, polarity protection. About half a volt drop on this diode, which is OK. Go into this capacitor. And I believe this DC to DC converter generates this rail. 3.3 volts for the digital section. And this converter generates this 5 volt rail which is uh, another rail for the digital section. This linear regulator has this input, again 11 and a half, and this is the output, 9 volts, and there is a trace to this display connector, so this must be for the display. And here is another linear regulator, this is the input, again 11 and a half, and this is the output, 9 volts. But there is no power in the analog section. 
these op amps have uh, pins uh, 4 and 11 uh, for power and pin 11 is uh, connected to the ground so pin 4 must be the power rail and there is nothing there and I checked on all op amps there is nothing and also nothing on this large capacitor so I think this is the problem the analog section is not powered up after probing around for a while I found the culprit here is a tiny resistor one side is connected to this 9 volt rail and the other side is connected to this capacitor and to this op amp and to this one and this one so yes this 9 volt rail should power the analog section but the resistor is open and I'm not sure why because uh, I checked that rail and it's not shorted to the ground and the resistance is not too low looks normal and I even see uh, in rush current limiting for charging this capacitor because the negative is not connected to the ground directly but through this bank of resistors five resistors in parallel 680 ohms each or about 120 ohms overall and there is a MOSFET which shorts them after a while or in other words connects the negative of the capacitor to the ground after a while the gate is connected to the 9 volt rail through an RC circuit which gives it some delay so I'm not sure why the resistor failed and what the value should be I guess some low value a few ohms or maybe even a zero ohm link let's open the working unit and find out here is the working unit let's measure the resistor let's use the relative mode so we zero out the probes and here it is about one ohm let's double check with the LCR meter it is more accurate for small resistors in particular because of four wire sensing let's see the resistor is tiny here it is yeah one ohm I fitted a new resistor and look at this we have audio level and we have blue light and audio level here as well so here we are sure PSM 300 transmitter repaired thank you for watching bye